watching this video, you've probably just received your brand new Scuba Pro Matrix H computer. And what I want like to do today is just run you through how to set it up when you first take it out of the box. All right? So we're going to take off this little scratch guard and we'll go forward from there. So first I want to show you how these buttons work. This computer turns on by either pushing either one of these buttons down and holding it. Or you just jump in the water and it turns on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the functions and have a look at the screen as we do that. So I'm going to hit the right button, push and hold, and activate it. So now you can see that we've got date and time and the Scuba Pro name scrolling on the bottom. So we're going to go through the functions, forward through the functions. This is the forward button, this is the back button. So here we go. Our first function is Bluetooth. We're going to deal with that on another video. We're going to go forward again, and you have your altitude. Again, compass, dive planner, logbook, and the time, and then the watch. So now we're back all the way at the home screen with the date and the time. So instead of going through all those functions to set up the watch, we're just going to hit the back button from the home screen and we'll be right there. So to get into the watch, we're going to push and hold the right button and get into it. There's an alarm. You can use this as an alarm. So we're going to go ahead and set this alarm. And set it for two. And then push and hold and set it. Push and hold and set. So here we go forward. We have our time zone. I've got it set right now for negative seven because that's where we're at in San Diego, California. So how you want to change this though is to push and hold and it flashes. And then you go ahead and set it for whatever time zone you're in. And when you get to your time zone, the enter button is also the set button. So now it's set for my time zone. Okay, moving forward, we've got the time of day. And right now I can see that it's in 24 hour clock. So I'm gonna advance one more time and go in and turn that off because I like a 12 hour clock. So it's flashing, so I'm gonna hit the back button and go to on for a 12 hour clock. And go back. And now we'll set the time. And the time right now is 2 o'clock. So I'll push and hold. And we'll go to 2, set. And then we'll set this to 2.01. And I've got the time set. So we'll go th forward. We'll pass this guy because we have it on 12 hour. And the date. And today's date is April 6th. So I'll push and hold this. The date will flash. I'll advance it to April. Push and hold to set. And then the day is the 6th, push and hold to set, and it's 2017, so we'll push and hold to set that, and we're done with that. After that, let's go back to the home screen, and we're going to set up this computer for each individual. So let's go ahead and push and hold to go into the time, and push and hold again to go to gas. And I'm going to advance ahead past gas pass scuba, and go to user. This is where we're going to set it up for us. I'm going to go in, and if you like it on Celsius, that's perfect. I use Fahrenheit, so here we go. I'm going to advance to Fahrenheit and set it. Advance to feet and set it. And then I don't use bar, so I'm going to advance to PSI and push and hold to set. And advance again. And backlight, I'm going to leave it at 10 seconds. Um, and here we have your desaturation, and that's for dive stores to go ahead and clear the computer from any residual nitrogen that it might have so they can go ahead and rent this computer to a different person. So we're going to skip over that. All right, now once I'm back to user, I'm going to backspace with the left button and go back to gas. So we're push and hold. And set that. And now the matrix computers have three gases. The first gas is what you're going to use every time you just want to use nitrox. So what we're going to do is if I'm going to go on a dive and I want to set it for 32%. I just push and hold and it activates. And then I'll advance it up to 32 and go ahead and push and hold to set. All right. And I'm going to push and hold to set my partial pressure at 1.4. You do have the option to go up to 1.6. All right, and it does have a second gas. 
and a deco gas, but we're not going to set those here today. Okay, moving forward, we have um, the reset. So if I have this set for 32% and I want it to reset back to air after I dive, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push and hold this and I'm going to tell it how many hours after my dive do I want it to reset back to air. So right now it's set for one hour after my dive, my computer will go from 32% back to 21%. Now if you don't want it to change, just leave it at that double hash and it will stay at 32% until you physically go in and change it. All right, so now we're going to go to pressure set. So we've got a mid-tank, um, uh, excuse me, I'm going to go back into that. Hang on. This will happen when you're first doing this. <laughs> so I've got the reset. So we've got a mid-tank warning. I'm going to go ahead and set that for about 1,500. There we go. And my low pressure tank warning, I'm going to set down to 650. All right. And you can make that personalized for yourself. So now we're going to go into scuba. Let's see what we've got in scuba. So we've got 130 foot right now max depth alarm. So I'm going to go ahead and change that and bump it up to, let's say, 100 feet. So I'm hitting the back button, and then I'm going to push and hold and set it. So I'm set for a 100 foot alarm. Now I've got a max uh, a dive time alarm. So I use this when the dive master on the boat says, I need everybody back here in one hour. So what I like to do is set this for 30 minutes so I know I'm halfway done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. On. And then I'm going to take it down to 30 minutes and push and hold to set. OK? And then we go to microbubble levels. So here we have the microbubble levels. We have level 0 through level 5. Zero is the most liberal. Now, if you are on a liveaboard and you're doing things like staying up late, drinking some alcohol, you might be a little bit out of shape, you may want to set this on level two or three. What it does is it, can, it makes the algorithm on this computer a little more conservative. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set it for level two. So you push and hold, and it flashes, and you set it for level two and push and hold. Now just so you know, this computer does not have a button for denial. So you have to be honest with yourself and honest when setting this computer so you can get the most out of it. All right? So as we move on, we got a safety stop timer. Right now it's set for three minutes at 15 feet. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. If I wanted to change it, I would push and hold. It would flash and I would change it to what I want. We come to PDIS. Profile Dependent Intermediate Stops. What this does, it takes into account your nitrogen loading, your previous and current dives. You can access this or activate it if you want to have built-in safety on your dives. Salt water or fresh water. So since our computers and the matrix always know the altitude that you're at, if you are going to go ahead and do an altitude dive in fresh water, not only will your computer know that you're at altitude and what altitude you're at, but you can set it for fresh water as well. So what we're going to do is push and hold to activate it. And if it was off, you just turn it on and set it. OK, scuba modes. Here we go. Um, I've got my max depth. Did I just do all those? Yes, I did. OK, here we go. User, we've already done and moving on to gauge mode. You can use this as a gauge, um, but for this purpose of this video, we're going to move on and not have it set up as gauge. Back to the time screen, and then we're back to the home screen, and that pretty much takes you through all the functions of the Matrix H computer. If you have any more questions, please go to scubapro.com.